Hey everybody, it's your favorite neighborhood Canva web brand designer, Olivia. I'm gonna be continuing this little mini series of Watch Me Design. Last week you got to watch me design some reels. Uh, hopefully that was helpful since reels are a big um, Instagram jam. Uh, but this week I'm gonna be shifting topics a little bit. I'm gonna be going away from Instagram and on to newsletters. We're gonna talk about how to use Canva with newsletters. Should you, would you, could you, all of those great things. Let's get into it. I use Flowdesk for my newsletter. Uh, I will put my affiliate code below because it does give you 50% off of the platform. I think Flowdesk is the best. Uh, it's clean, easy, this is what it looks like. You can't go wrong here. I mean, you really can't. Um, but how would I use Canva to create graphics for email newsletters? Let's talk through it. The first thing we gotta talk about, and this is a little bonus for everybody, this is a little bonus, has nothing to do with Canva, but it has everything to do with the design technology. So you might notice that when I'm editing, if you've used Flowdesk, if you've used any other email editor, you might notice that when I'm typing here, I only have these fonts. I only have these fonts, huh? Why do I only have these fonts? But then all of a sudden, if I add something fancy schmancy, like if I come to layouts and I add, uh, it's gonna think about it apparently, and I add this right here, suddenly I have access to so many more fonts. What's going on? This is because this particular block right here would get turned in to an image. Would get turned into an image instead of actually being text. There's a couple of downsides to this. It makes your emails bigger, just, just the fact of it. This text right here is probably like two kilobytes, like the smallest of the small. But the second you add images and stuff to an email newsletter, the bulkier it gets, the worse it sends. Because don't forget, not all e inboxes are equal. It's a little bit different from browsers, whereas most people use Chrome, Firefox, and an Explorer. There's like a bajillion email inboxes. You might be wondering, wait a minute, doesn't everybody just use Gmail? Nope. I don't even use Gmail. I mean, my email is Gmail. I use something called Polymail. I know a lot of my friends are still using Outlook because it's at their job. Some people have Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, all kinds of different types of mails. There are too many email inboxes. So these are your standard fonts. These are the standard fonts that can be read in any email platform. So you really want to prioritize this. That means you also want to prioritize not going absolutely wild with your email newsletter graphics. So here's a couple of ways that I would use Canva to create emails, email newsletters. So don't ever create your email directly in Canva. It's not going to, it's going to be a little, a little um, suspect. So here's example number one is I made this cutie patootie little cover thing right here. I got bored of it after like two weeks and so I stopped doing that. And then also obviously Canva Tip Weekly. Here's all the Canva Tip Weekly video or uh, emails that you guys will see. But then I also have, there's a couple of old ones. You can see I was like swapping around. And then before then I was using Canva to make even different ones than that. Clearly I send out tons and tons. Oh, and I did more of those than I thought I did. Let's see. Yeah, so here's one. Here's one where I was making cutesy little items. Wow, I, I've done a lot of Canva Tip Weeklies. Okay, here's a few. Here's one right here that I made in Canva, and here's one right here that I made in Canva. So I am going to drop a free little newsletter header te template for you guys below. Yay, we love a freebie. Oh my gosh, Olivia, what? I'm going to be giving you these email newsletter banners. These are great ways to create a banner rather than just a plain logo at the top of your email. So you can put your logo in the center and decorate it with all kind of these things. You could do this little formally line thing, maybe have a little slant action, make it look like a slant. This one's got a swoop. So this one's actually a swoopy swoop, which will give it an illusion of a swoop, obviously. And then here I've got like a mood board if you wanted to do a mood thing. So I'm gonna drop these in today's email. But how would I actually create an in-email graphic? So I'm gonna go back up here to number one. Um, I'm gonna be looking at, 
draft edited to me. Oh, I guess I clicked on it. I'm going to be working on this. This is going out tomorrow. I would absolutely love it if you wanted to join the main Let's Go Studio newsletter. You're currently reading and looking at Canva Tip Weekly, uh, which is a whole separate thing. I do not send out Let's Go Studio emails unless I get consent. All right. So I really want to do, um, not this, we're going to delete that. I really want to do a little uh, banner right here because uh, of the theme of this lifestyle newsletter. And the theme for this one is social media identity and fonts. <laughs> so I'm going to come up here to create a design. Well, first, I'm going to analyze this one right here. So email generally fits in about 800 pixels. That's kind of generally what your, your email uh, uh, window is. But wait a minute, Olivia, this is like so big. It's actually not. Email is contained. So you'll see here immediately if I change the backdrop color, this is about 800-ish pixels. I mean, of course, it's going to vary per client. See, this one says it's about 752. I don't know if you're 750, if you can see that. But 800 is kind of the sweet spot. And then, of course, it just goes as tall as you want. So it's 800 this way, right? Here, I'm going to pretend it's 800 this way and then it's as, as tall as you like I have found that 200 is about here <laughs> I don't know if this is helpful is about here and obviously if you want a longer one here the bigger the image the bigger the image size and it might slow down your email inboxes so just a note right there also hey Olivia why would I use a color backdrop versus a non-color backdrop I found that a lot of people are finding that text emails and emails that look a little bit more stripped down look a little bit more um, savvy to the user, right? It looks less like I'm being promoted to if it feels more real. All right, we're going to create a design and go to custom size, and then we're going to do 800 by 200 pixels. Pixels. Pixels are the dots on your computer. You can't see them because there's lots and lots of them. And then I'm going to click create new design. So this is gonna work really, really well. I'm actually gonna go back to my roots because I just wanna do a nice little collage thing. So that was the first thing you got with Canva Tip Weekly, it still is. Uh, and so since I'm talking about social media, I'm actually gonna come over here to uh, my really organized brand folders, which is Let's Go Brand. And then I've got my folders and I'm looking for my cutouts. Yay. I'm talking a lot about social media and how it's been affecting me. So I'm going to add like a phone. I'm going to add another phone. I got these from Creative Market. We're also going to add like a computer over here. This is probably a little bit much for, I can't keep up. Well, maybe I can. Uh, I'm going to add, so see how I'm just sort of placing these things. I'm also going to add this new like lime color that I've been using and really enjoying that I'm probably going to get tired of in a bit. I've got this little daily planner notebook guy right here. Of course, I'm going to go add a tiger. So I'm going to go back up to my animals here. We're going to add in, <laughs> he's funny, but I don't like him. I think he looks a little derpy. Uh, we're going to do maybe that. I'm just going to create some kind of fun stuff here. And I kind of want to come over to elements and do wavy lines. See what's, oh, those are kind of cool. This just gives me the vibe that I'm going for. Oh, there's a lot of these. Of course, you can do magic recommendations and it's going to give you a bunch. All of these look really, really great. This one I'm going to make orange. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, cool. All right. So uh, let's do what else feels like identity. Uh, oh, can I do like a driver's license? That feels like a, ooh, it's kind of fun. <laughs> the dog. Well, I don't want that. I, I had something different in my head. All right. So here I've searched identity. I got this fingerprint that I really like up here. I think this is kind of looking fun. Face, yeah, identity. That's kind of what something that I've been dealing with with social media because you see your face so much when you do content creation. It's like insane. The hands creepy to me. We're going to leave it here and I might tinker with this later. I don't want this to get too long. Once you're done, give it a title, right? This is a newsletter header creative collage. Try, here's my two tips for you today. Try to name things with keywords. Don't just say newsletter because you're guaranteed you're going to need to search this later. So try to give it a bunch. Newsletter, header, creative collage, you know. 
Second thing, immediately, 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 always save to folder. Always, 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 always. Everyone always asks me, Olivia, how do you keep your brand organized? And it's because I put my clothes away as soon as I fold them. <laughs> so I'm gonna click headers and thumbnails because that's where I put all my headers and thumbnails and I'm gonna click save, done. Now I know exactly where that is. It's gonna be super organized later. Okay, now I'm going to download this, click download. PNG is works great if you wanna go even lower. Um, a JPEG is gonna be a lower uh, file size. So you can mess around with that. I'm gonna click download and I don't have water so I can't wait and hydrate. So I have to wait without hydrating this time, of course. Save this somewhere you can find it. So of course I have a matching folder headers <laughs> right here because I'm a Virgo. And then I'm going to come in here and place, I'm gonna hit the plus sign in Flowdesk. This works similarly in what your email platform is. Click image, click upload image. I'm going to come over here to headers and type or go find what I just saved that as, creative something, newsletter header, creative, there we go. And ta-da, I've just made a graphic that goes perfectly. You can see the quality is a little uh, but it means that my email is gonna go really fast. I will probably go back and up the quality here. Um, I think this is looking a little, a little grungy compared to this, but still, awesome. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the newsletter header templates um, and look out for this email that I'm sending out tomorrow. Well, actually for you guys, you guys get this on Monday. <laughs> These emails I send out on Thursdays. I would love it if you guys would subscribe. Flowdesk is my favorite. Uh, let me know what you'd like to watch me design next. Thank you.